Welcome to a new episode of WVD Logix. Today I'm explaining you where you can set REP properties for your WVD sessions from within the Azure portal. As some of you know, the possibility of defining these settings graphically existed previously, just a bit more simplified and it disappeared for a while. Since the 5th of October, Microsoft has enabled a very detailed and advanced version of it, which I'm going to show you in a very small demonstration. Please be aware, I'm not able to cover all of these settings particularly, but please find all the settings in this article mentioned below with practical guidance, recommendations and everything you need to know about the RDP properties and even more. First, you have to log on to the Azure portal. Do this with your administrative account. Next, navigate to the Windows Virtual Desktop Service where you can find the RDP properties beneath the host pool settings. I'm doing this directly using the quick link, but you can also use the search bar to search for the Windows Virtual Desktop Service. From within this service, we navigate to host pools. And here you can see the list of existing host pools, but if you don't have any existing host pool, you can just create a new one by clicking on that. I'm going to select the host pool where I want to define the settings and navigate to the RDP properties on the left side of the menu. First of all, we can see the connection information settings, defining the overall connection settings such as the CRED SSP support for the reconnection setting um, and also the alternate shell, uh, shell we can use to automatically start up an app for our end users. The second tab presents us with the session behavior features. It helps us to define uh, the general connection behavior, compression, bandwidth settings, as well as video playback features. The third tab will present us with the device redirection features, starting from the microphone redirections and ending with advanced USB settings. The fourth tab defines the display settings, whether you want to use just a single monitor or multiple monitors with specific settings this can be defined here. Last but not least, you can see and modify all parameters in the advanced tab. It also helps you to transfer settings to multiple host pools by simply copying and pasting the content to another host pool here. Once you're done, click on save. If you want to know in very detail which impact each setting has, read my blog post below and search for the entry. I'm looking forward to your feedback and wish you happy controlling of your WVD sessions.